Today, we're going to be focusing on tack. We're going to talk about caring for our leather goods specifically. We'll talk about our saddles, our head stalls, our girths, and all of those type of things. Um, when tacking up a horse, you want to inspect your saddle, but you also do that same process when you clean your saddle. And so we want to teach our students what are the important points on a saddle to be looking at. And we're talking about the latigo straps, whether we're talking about the cinch or the D-rings, the fender leathers uh, for the stirrups. Um, all of those, if they crack and tear in the middle of a ride, that's going to have uh, potentially disastrous consequences. So we want to ensure that we're inspecting those each and every time we clean our tack and when we place it on a horse. If you dry clean your tack, as soon as you finish with your ride, you put it up, you take all of the dust off it, take a clean dry cloth, wipe all of the horse sweat off, you have a chance to inspect every part of the saddle then. And you can determine at that point, is there any part of the saddle that needs more care than a nice dry clean? And if you do do a dry clean at the end of each ride, you'll find your saddle will stay in shape much longer. I get enough dirt on it that it requires a deep clean. I also have to be careful how I clean it so that I'm not actually pushing all of that dirt down into the saddle. And once you've got actual cracks in the leather, it's time to replace it. Don't underestimate the danger of cracked straps or cinch components or fenders on your saddle. Um, there really is no way to restore that back to full strength. If the leather is simply dry and stiff and hard, we can restore it. We can use uh, Neat's Foot Oil and other things to bring suppleness back into that leather and give it a, a much longer life. So make sure that uh, you actually spend the time and effort not only teaching your students good horsemanship, but how to care for their tack and how to inspect it to make sure that it's safe. 